Hey guys, Max here. Um, back on the DC3 today. Haven't been doing much in the last couple of days because I've been a little busy. But um, yeah, we have shavings everywhere today. So anybody guess what I've been doing? That's it. I've been doing leading edges and wingtips. So I've been a bit, it's been a bit hard to get the one inch block that I normally use. I've got a little bit of it here that I'm sort of I like this stuff here, it's nice and thick. I've got a few bits of that laying around, but I don't have like a piece big enough to uh, make a whole tip from. So I just had to get some six and a half mil um, sheet like this, and I just uh, laminated it together to get me the thickness I needed. Um, and then I just razor planed it to the right the profile after having uh, cut it on the. I've got a little uh, scroll saw here. I've got set up as a um like a little band saw so i've got a attachment it's got the this type of cut off it and that that's just like this it came with this thing it's got a couple of grub screws in there put a hacksaw blade in works really good for straight nice straight cuts can't do that with the blade that came with it so that worked out okay managed to cut that sort of outside profile nice uh, then I marked a middle piece or where the middle of this is and then sort of just razor planed each side to get it right uh, And then finished off with the sandpaper just to yeah, I've still got a bit of work to go But I'm pretty happy with sort of how it is at the moment It's looking pretty good uh, the leading edge uh, I only could I uh, had a bit of trouble getting the leading edge stock as well. So um, this is like bought stock here uh, and then I just put some six and a half mil, the same sort of deal. I just laminated that in. So there's a, a six and a half mil there, and then another one there, and then it sort of tapers off, and as per the plan, starts to ends up as sort of a really thin section there. So I've got the plan on the floor. You have a look how that looks. Um, you see, it just tapers off real nice there, which is what I've done. And that's where the wingtip is, which I cut out to use as a template. Um, yeah, so that come up pretty good. It's pretty happy with that. So have a look at the sort of nice and straight, well contoured. Probably my best leading edge yet, actually. I'm really happy with that. Um, yeah, so that's basically the same on the other side. Did the same thing. That's a leading edge stock that I purchased. Uh, that's a transition into my own sort of same thing that sort of come up pretty good And that's the other tip So I'd say I'm probably 99% there on the tips Just I'd like to just give them a little bit more of a zhuzh up and they'll be good Otherwise, I haven't really done too much. I just added some spackle which I had and used on other planes which is this stuff here, just to that uh, wing fillet area, um, just to sort of um, get that planking looking a bit nicer. I've sort of run out, so I didn't get to do the front or the other fillet. Um, I'll get some more tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I'm going to smooth that out, give it a sand tomorrow or something when it dries. Um, Probably the only other thing I did today was when I was doing the wind tips, I had a crack at using this foam, which I've used it in the past, but because it was such a big sort of uh, sort of big part, it took ages and ages to actually sand it to get it to the right contour to the point where I realized quickly it was just going to be easier for me to laminate the as per that and use the razor plane. The razor plane is much quicker. And allows me to get the contour without uh, the. I can only sand this if you try to use even a bit of pressure on this stuff. You see, it just sort of it'll it'll start to grab up on the on the paper, and it just starts to open up like that when you actually try to put a bit of force on it. So you'll be working away, and you put just a little bit too much elbow grease, and it'll just go and just put those little tears in it, which is not ideal. And like they're that deep that you can't sort of can't get them out so um yeah that sort of i did glue it on and just give it a mock up and tried realized it was going to take me forever and probably wouldn't be as good a bond as wood to wood i guess either and you know like 
Uh, yeah, they'll probably be pretty tough still, but yeah, I, I'm happy with how I went with the bolster now, actually. Um, yeah, so otherwise, um, it hasn't changed much. Um, I've got to get some like foam safe glue, like a Gorilla Glue or something tomorrow. I've run out. So I just practiced sort of with this bit with the CA. And you can see it's sort of where I put the CA. It sort of eats into it a bit. Didn't care because it was just an experiment this time. But when I do this front part here, um, I'm probably going to be a bit more committed than just you trying to use sanding. And I'm going to ray, I'm going to um, hot wire all that. So that'll make that a bit quicker. And it should just be a matter of doing some light sanding after that. So yeah, um, I think tomorrow we'll get a chance to do a bit more on the old girl. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it's come along. Um, yeah. You, know, you gotta stay safe and I hope everyone's enjoying their little builds at the moment and um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on how I'm going. See ya.